So I'm here with former Houston area football and baseball star Adam Dunn, and now I'm uh, moving on. Moved on to Hollywood at some point. <laughs> so you had a part in Dallas Buyers Club. What? How did you get that part? It was as, as a bartender. As a bartender. How did you get that part? Kind of a long story short. Um, my buddy st um, started a production company. Um, and this was the first movie that uh, he was able to get. And, um, so I thought it'd be cool to, to just kind of see how everything kind of goes down and on that side. And, um, you know, it was obviously a fun project and uh, did pretty good. And what was your experience like actually playing the part and being on the set? Yeah, I, I realize it's probably not something that I would like to do on a daily basis. Um, too much work involved, too many people yelling at you. Um, but I mean, again, as much work that goes into, you know, producing something, um, you know, and, and, you know, that was kind of a, you know, what you call it, you know, low budget, just, and, and it's, to see what they they did with that and in a short amount of time these guys are such true professionals um you know it was really cool it was a really cool experience and are, are you friends with matthew mcconaughey is that maybe part of the reason why you guys were involved with this movie no i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't say we're friends i mean you know people throw that term around way too loose right. <laughs> uh you know I, we we know each other but um you know it was just kind of one of those things where uh you know kind of right place at the right time and everything worked out so you got to go to the Oscars. You actually got to take a little, a small break from spring training. What was that experience like? How many days were you out there? What was the whole day like? Yeah, I went out there, uh, I guess I went out there Saturday night, got back um, Monday. Um, it was different. You know, it was, it was a cool experience. You know, I I, first of all, I didn't realize how big of a event it was. I mean, it's a week-long event. Um, you know, I thought the Super Bowl was the biggest event, you know, going in. Uh, I'm going to put the Oscars right up there, so it was a really cool experience, but, um, you know, we obviously have different, different, uh, I guess, different ways of, you th throw the word party around, that's a little different, you know, what I think about party and what they think about party down there is completely different, so, um, we're, it, was, it was cool. Well, speaking of parties, did you get to go to any events, any parties afterwards? I did, I went to, uh, went to, a, went to a couple of them, um, you know, again. Um, I would call them more social events than parties. Uh, I think a party, I think of, you know, some, some music and maybe some cold beer here now and then, not walking around with glasses of champagne and a tuxedo. So, uh, you know, again, it was, it was a good experience. Glad I did it once and probably will never do it again. Oh, wow. um, were there any celebrities there that you really wanted to meet? You were excited about meeting? You know, it, it happened so fast. Um, you know, obviously you see a lot of people you'd like to sit and talk to, but everyone else is there to have a good time and not talk to, you know, some schmuck that they have no idea who it is. So, um, you know, so I, I, I kind of respected everybody's privacy and just went on doing my own thing. How many lines did you have? Uh, just as many as I wanted. Zero. <laughs> zero. You didn't have any lines? Didn't want them. Didn't, didn't, no, I didn't want to no part of it. I just wanted to be a part and kind of just see how everything went down. And, uh, you know, so I thought I did a good job. All right. Well, sounds good. It sounds like you enjoyed it. Being just being a small Texas boy at heart, at least you went out and enjoyed it. A one, once in a lifetime experience. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.